Right Livelihood thanks the High Commissioner and shares her concern. We are particularly alarmed by the situation affecting indigenous peoples and Afro-descendants in the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua. Since 2020, violence and land grabbing have drastically increased. Indigenous communities are suffering a humanitarian crisis due to forced displacement. Those who remain in their territories are subject to constant attack by illegal settlers. Just last month, a Mizikito leader and his son were killed in the Tuiwapausa territory. The repeated calls from this council have been ignored by the Nicaraguan government, which instead continues to promote the cohabitation between terceros and indigenous peoples in breach of law 445, thus facilitated conflict and violence. While perpetrators enjoy impunity, activists pay a high price for their human rights work, facing judicial persecution and imprisonment. Since January, a total of 199 civil society groups, including indigenous organizations, were liquidated by the government. Mr. President, the indigenous communities in the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua are facing a risk of ethnocide. We reiterate, our, we reiterate our call on the Council to ensure that the Nicaraguan government guarantees indigenous people's rights in accordance with its national and international obligations. The decision to establish the Group of Human Rights Experts on Nicaragua was an important first step. While wishing them all the success in fulfilling their mandate, we also urge them to ensure that particular attention is given to, uh, to the abuses faced by indigenous communities and that accountability be provided. Thank you. Thank <music> you.